Hello guys and girls, uh, here's a short video of all the kit I'm taking with me on the Te Araroa, uh, the TA, uh, over in New Zealand. We're setting off in about three weeks time and I've just received the last bits and bobs that I was missing. So here's my, uh, here's my gear list and presentation. So over on the left hand side there's my worn clothing, anything that's left of my walking poles is all the stuff that I'll be wearing upon my person. So uh, starting off at the top I've got my uh, little baseball cap, a pair of sunglasses, uh, nothing too special, just UV proof. Um, then I've got my Patagonia, um, what's it called, trail shirt, long sleeve, really really love this t-shirt, it's my favourite t-shirt, it's the best piece of kit, <laughs> it doesn't smell too fast, dries pretty quickly, uh, really dig this. Um, over to the left there's just a little cotton bandana, which is useful for wiping stuff down, wiping myself included. Um, I mean sweat, of course. <laughs> Down here there's the uh, a little short uh, merino buff, uh, just to keep my neck covered. And uh, also uh, also sometimes wear as a hat when it's quite windy. Over to the right there's some uh, minus 20, minus 33, sorry, uh, merino boxers. The brand is just called minus 33. Uh, they're quite long actually, and relatively heavy. However, they do keep you tremendously warm, and uh, they're really don't smell too quickly which is uh, which is a good selling point I'd say <laughs> just underneath that there's a pair of cheapo decathlon running shorts uh, they cost me about five euros uh, really lightweight um, I've had them for about like just regular running shorts I've had them for about two years now there's a little tiny hole in the back but really uh, really good piece of cheap kit um, over to the right there's my uh, Patagonia uh, hip oh, what's it called um, a bum bag, a fanny pack for the Americans. Um, in that, I'm going to have my wallet. I've got my little um, Swiss Army knife as well, just a Victorinox, um, a whistle, a lip salve, and some suntan lotion. On my wrist, obviously, I'll be having a watch. It's just a Casio F91W or whatever it's called, or something of the like, with a little um, a Sunto clipper um, compass on it. Over to the bottom. I've got my cool uh, Injinji Coolmax liners. Um, I'm trying these out actually. I've, I've had the new ones for quite a while, uh, to the extent where I've worn out a pair, and apparent and I wasn't too impressed with the durability of the new one, new wool ones. But apparently, a lot of people recommend the Coolmax, so the synthetic uh, synthetic fabric is supposed to be longer lasting. So uh, I'm trialing those right now. Uh, on top of those, I'll be wearing some uh, Injinji as well uh, trail socks, so they're like um, shorter ones. My shoes of choice for the time being are the Hoka One One um, ATR Challenger 4s. Uh, these are getting pretty worn now. I've been, uh, I've had them for about what, 300, 400, 400 kilometers probably, something like that. Um, I'm swapping those out for some uh, Hoka Evo Speed Goats, Speed Goats that are coming uh, shortly, in, a, in about a week they should be arriving. So I'll be swapping out to those probably for the TA, but hey. So then I've got um, walking poles, they're just some pariah outdoors um, with some duct tape rolled around the sticks in the middle just to repair stuff. Quite happy with the sticks, nothing really to say about them. Uh, they're doing me, they're doing alright for the time being, the tips are wearing out a bit but um, I'm probably just going to end up replacing those at some stage because apparently the TA is quite tough on sticks uh, so I'm taking those with me with and I'm fully expecting them not to come back with me so that's for all of my worn clothing that's everything that I'll be carrying upon my person moving over to the pack stuff so the stuff that I keep in my backpack um, little featuring for the <laughs> for the patches I've got one and one for my friend with who I'll be walking it um, these are just a pair of uh, liner gloves just some really really thin ones I uh, like to keep my hands warm um, especially when it's uh, damp, actually, when it's damp and windy, uh, my hands can get a bit chilly, uh, so those are just enough. Over to the right hand side is my rain kit. This is the Quechua rain cut, uh, NH100 rain cut. Quite a few people have been talking about it. Um, I've been quite happy with it, I've had it for just over probably about a month and a half now. Uh, I've taken it out quite a few times and it's doing all right. It's not a fantastic one, it's not a breathable. I've got a, an outdoor research helium. Uh, um, jacket which uh, which I usually wear but this one's a cheaper one and it's a tiny bit lighter so 
it does all right. Underneath this, I've got some uh, Innovate uh, Ultra Pants. These are really, really lightweight. They're quite uh, thin, as you can see. I'm fully expecting these to be trashed pretty rapidly on the TA. Um, and that's why there's the, the tape on that walking stick, so I can uh, tape them back together. I imagine the gorse is probably going to shred them quite rapidly, but we'll see how it goes. Um, over on the right hand side there's my whole water system so over here you can recognize this one um, it's just a soil squeeze I've taken the label off and put some nail varnish on it just so I can recognize which is mine um, and I've also got the screw top cap on so I can uh, plug it directly into my um, um, water bladder speaking of water bladders um, what is this this is the Platy Preserve it's a, a wine carrying bag made by Platypus um, I've been using it for about two or three years now uh, just to put a, it fills a bottle of wine um, I've really really been happy with it um, just keeps your wine fresh pop the air out jobs are good underneath that we've got my dirty water bag this is a new arrival I only received it a few days ago it's the the Seenock Outdoors Knock Seenock however you're supposed to say it um, 2009 2 litre uh, water bladder um, it seems quite good it's what I was looking for it's got a really nice durable plastic feel to it I've just played around with it in the cellar for the time being and it um, seems alright but yeah, obviously I need to try it out in real conditions. Underneath that I've got my trusty Platypus uh, 3 litre hoser. Um, I've had this one for quite a number of years now. It seems to hold. Um, I'm not too sure how it's going to do on the TA because um, cause it might be a bit awkward on uh, drying it and cleaning it. I know that on shorter hikes, which is what I usually do, on shorter hikes it's fine, but maybe for the TA I might have to swap that out for um, for some uh, water bottles of some sort. But for the time being, as long as it lasts, I'm taking it with me. I've got a bit of uh, comfort. I've got some uh, Birkenstocks Madrid EVA. They're made out of foam. They're really lightweight, actually. They're like 208 grams for the, for the pair. Um, just really comfortable. Anybody who owns Birkenstocks knows that that's the way to go. <laughs> so I'll be taking those as a bit of a comfort for the evenings. Um, over over here on the left hand side, this is my toilet bag, toiletries and first aid. I've got my toothpaste, I've got my chopped down bamboo toothbrush, all that good stuff. Uh, Earplugs. Um, my first aid is pretty basic. I've got a few um, plasters, super glue ibuprofen, um, tick removers as well actually because I, I uh, find those useful and some uh, just some alcoholic, um, not alcoholic, not alcoholic, alcohol hand wash whatever it's called. Above that for my toiletries I've got a little towel as well just to dry myself, um, just a little uh, short one but it's uh, usually enough. Over to the right this is my uh, little, little bag Ditty bag, I think, is what the Americans refer to it as. Um, on the top right, you recognise, of course, the Anker external battery, 10,000 milliamp battery. Um, really happy with that. I've had it for a number of years now. Um, on top of that, some people might not know about these things. Um, what this is, it's a USB drive. It's 128 gigabyte. It's got a USB on one side, and then a USB C which is for my phone on the other side. So I can basically transfer stuff between computers and my phone, or most importantly, use it as a sort of USB drive for my phone and use it as an extension for storage, which I'm, I've, I've got a few files on there already, like music and podcasts and stuff like that, and uh, it works great, just plug and play sort of thing into your phone. So my phone's got limited memory on it, so I think it's going to really come in handy. Um, next to that, I think everybody knows what that is, Nightcore NU25 with a quad pretty basic well I mean I'm quite happy with it but yeah I think everybody knows about those with the charging cable so USB-C for my phone uh, my phone is obviously the one that I'm filming with right now it's the OnePlus 6 um, quite a decent phone to be honest I've had it a number of years was it a year and a half now two years maybe uh, micro USB charger for the headlamp I'd like to buy a smaller one if possible because that one's quite massive I've got a waterproof phone case for my phone um, most of the time I'll be keeping my driving license and my passport in it as well, just to be 100% guaranteed that those don't get wet. Underneath that I've got my earbuds. Uh, these are just some cheapos off Amazon. Uh, Amazon, I'm not sure if they're Amazon Basics or whatever, they kind of look like AirPods, but the sound quality is actually quite impressive. I got these the other day as well, so I've been trying them out recently and I'm quite impressed with them. So um, over to the right again is my cook system. Um, looking a bit chaotic right now. So. 
Uh, I've got the MSR Pocket Rocket 2 stove. I uh, had that one for quite a while. Um, works great. Little piece of sponge just to keep your pots clean. Um, weighs barely anything and it really does help scratch off any possible burnt pasta or rice or stuff like that. I found it very useful anyway. A little lighter, so these things go inside of my pot. The pot itself is the Sea to Summit. Um, Alpha Pot 1.9 litre, so it's quite a big fella. Um, inside of that we've got two cups and two bowls. So there's two of us that are going to be hiking the TA, me and my friend Alex. Um, we're I don't have the gas canister, Alex will be carrying the gas canister, even though we haven't bought it yet, we'll buy it when we get over there. But I'm taking this heavy-ish cook set, because obviously it's got bowls, cups and everything. Bit of extra luxury, but we figure for four months, might as well allow ourselves a bit of luxury. Um, little spoon, tote, 750, everybody knows about these. Um, I was trying out a um, plastic, plastic spoon, um, plastic fork actually is what I was trying out recently. But that ended up getting trashed after a couple of days, so I've switched back to titanium just to have something, yes, a bit heavier, but also far more resistant. Uh, underneath that, that green bag, it's an Exped dry bag. It's just a 22 litre. That's going to be my food bag. Oh, that's a dry bag as well to keep my uh, electronics underneath. That's, uh, uh, what is it, Osprey, I think it is? Um, anyway, or a seat or something. Anyway, a little dry bag to keep all of the important things dry. As for clothing, up on this top row, um, I've got two extra pairs of socks, so it's the double system of what I've got in my worn clothing. Um, that is to say, the Injinji Cool Max liners and some Injinji trail socks. Um, might be a bit of overkill, but I like to take care of my feet. Over here, we've got some Icebreaker Merino um, underpants and long johns underneath that. Uh, just to keep my legs a bit warm and then also a long sleeve um, top on top so I've got a full sort of merino set of spares. Uh, over to the right that's the Quechua, again a decathlon product. Uh, Quechua uh, grid fleece, um, it's cheap as chips, it's like 10 euros I think I paid for it. It's a, it's a micro grid fleece, really surprisingly warm, quite lightweight. Um, I do actually own a Patagonia R1 and I won't be taking that with me, um, simply because this one costs a sixteenth of the Patagonia one, one sixteenth, and uh, and so it doesn't matter so much if I damage or or uh, or trash it or anything. So I won't feel so precious about it. Let's say, but really impressed with that piece of kit. Would recommend. Over to the right, there's the warm-ish layer. Uh, that's just the Uniqlo ultralight down jacket. That's my. Uh, I use that pretty much every day, to be honest. Um, it's in its stuff sack right now. Um, still pretty compressible and everything, but um, I'm not sure if I'll be taking that with me on the North Island because I think it's quite um, hot and humid um, for the period that I'm going to be there. So I might send that forwards and only have it for the South Island. I'm not too sure, but I'm taking it with me for the time being and we'll see as we go along. Uh, so that's it for the sort of stuff that's in my backpack. Then moving on to my sleep system down here. Um, so my sleep system, um, what have I got? I've got a little, uh, uh, what's it called, dream sleeper, dream, yeah, dream sleeper, a little pillow, inflatable pillow, sorry, um, Big Sky, that's it, is the name of the brand, um, quite happy with it, but I might, I might ditch that at some stage, because uh, I've been using my fleece and down jacket for years as, as a um, pillow, so I'm not too convinced I actually need that, uh, above here I've got my tent peg, so there's like the eight by default that come with the, with my tent and then I've added on two extra ones just in case. The tent itself, uh, some of you might recognize, is the Dan Durston X-Mid one-person tent. Um, I've only had it out in my garden so far. We're going to go on a trial walk on in two days uh, where I'm going to try it out in the wild. But um, for the time being it seems impressive, you know. It's uh, pretty lightweight and it's got um, everything that I was looking for, so it's double wall, it's got a nice, uh, nice mosquito um, um, inner so it should keep the sun flies away because those are apparently problematic and then yeah dual vestibule loads of space it looked good in my garden let's put it that way <laughs> over to the right there's my sleeping bag this is the cumulus x light 200 this is a custom model that i've had made uh, about two years ago now two summers ago um it weighs 
It weighs 374 grams, so it is just light, really, really light. You can't really convey it on camera, but it is really light. Um, it keeps me warm though, I've never been cold with it. I haven't actually used it in winter conditions, but I know for three seasons, for the past two years, then it's been fine. Um, I think I've only been cold in it like once. I am quite a warm sleeper. Um, this is a custom um, colour, uh, custom length, and also custom fill. I've got a bit of extra fill, so it's actually a 220, not a, not a 200 to be uh, exact. But yeah, really impressed with that piece of kit, really do enjoy it. Uh, underneath that, it's just a silk um, sleeping bag liner. You know, keep yourself, add one or two degrees of warmth, but most especially keep my uh, sleeping bag protected. It's been, uh, yeah, I've been using it for the past two years and it's lost a few feathers, but apart from that, it's really been holding up really well. So uh, so this silk liner is uh, definitely helping keep it clean and, um, and protecting it. Um, underneath my sleep mat is, uh, I think most of you probably recognize it, it's the Thermarest Z-Lite Sol. Um, it's actually quite new, as you can see. It's still got quite a lot of um, elasticity to it. I used to own uh, the Z Light, the regular normal one, so the non reflective material one, and uh, that one was basically just flat as a pancake. So I thought I'd treat myself and uh, invest on, on, on one that's got a slightly higher R value. I've chopped it down a few sections as well. And the main work pack horse, <laughs> my backpack. So uh, all of this stuff that I've been uh, presenting beforehand, all of that goes into my dry bag, at least my clothes do, and my sleeping bag. Uh, this is just an Osprey, small 30 litre, 50 litre. I've had this for a while, pretty lightweight, keeps the water out, all that I need. Not everything goes in that. And then underneath that, I've got my Berghaus uh, Fast Hike 45 litre backpack. Um, I got this on sale really, really cheap. Uh, it was like 51 pounds. And, um, and it's been doing fine so far. Uh, I've chopped off a few bits and bobs, uh, stuff that I don't use, but otherwise it's a pretty neat backpack. I'm really happy with it. Um, it's got quite a lot of adjustability to it. I still need to <laughs> cut my straps down. They're still a bit long, but I need to get my uh, sewing kit out. Um, so it's got the hip belt. It's got. Um, I've still left the aluminium frame inside of it, uh, but I've removed the back panel because the idea is, is that I'll use my um, sleep mat as a back panel inside of the backpack. Uh, which is works for me and then for sections where I need a lot more room in my backpack where I'm carrying more food then I can just uh, take that out put it on top of the backpack and uh, gain a few extra liters for food inside and then my water bladder just fits uh, in this little in this little slot here which is really quite handy I've uh, quite enjoyed this backpack for the price very good so I think that pretty much covers it uh, what have I got else um Oh, a bit of information about the pack itself. So uh, I've got a lighter pack link, which I'll leave at the end of the video. But for weight wise, we're currently standing at five kilos and si five kilo sixty four, with a total weight of six ninety two. And in pounds for the heathens that use that, it is twelve forty three, um, which I'm quite happy about. It's not quite into the ultralight range. I think. Most people agree that that's twelve pounds and under, but uh, for the duration of the hike, um, I'm quite happy, and it's what I consider to be a full comfort system because I've got things that I don't usually take with me, like a full set of merino um, uppers and lowers, and then also camp shoes. I usually skip those, wine bag, all that kind of stuff. You know, a few little extra bits and bobs, but I think they'll be useful uh, for the long run. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you've got any comments or feedback, feel free. I'd really appreciate any sort of advice. You know, if there's some of my choices that are completely wrong, uh, feel free to uh, to tell me. And for those who are setting off on the TA, what is it? Mid-October. Mid to end October. I'll see you on the trail. Bye-bye.